so much that can be said about what happened on Parliament Hill, downtown Ottawa, this past weekend. All the people who descended upon our nation's capital to make their voices heard. But I want to focus on one particular angle, which is comparing one of the key messages of, of the broad spectrum of individuals who converged on our nation's capital, comparing it with what public health officials have recently said here in Canada from coast to coast. So the original message that got all this started, truckers convoy moving from the west coast and culminating in Ottawa was say no to the truckers vaccine mandate, that it was unnecessary, that it would cause supply chain issues. That was the original concern. And then of course this became something much larger. It became a symbol for people who were frustrated uh, with all these overbearing COVID-19 rules. And, and one of the main messages that we saw there was end the mandates, the broad mandates, whatever they are, demanding people you must do this you must do that. Let's roll back those rules. Now what's very interesting is Canadians have watched for months now as many other countries have been doing the same. We've watched as the United States has found a way to basically live their lives regardless of what part of the country they're in, whether they're Democrat states, Republican states, most of them have ruled have rolled back overbearing rules. Then we've seen as the United Kingdom has said no more COVID-19 rules at all. And for someone to say, I want to live like that, like they're living in, in New York state, like they're living in, in this democratic state or that Republican state or like in the United Kingdom, I don't think that's particularly radical, particularly when you combine what some chief medical officers throughout Canada have been saying. Like Dr. Bonnie Henry just last week, she's BC's top doctor saying, we've got to start treating this like we would the flu and be prepared for us rolling back these rules. Dr. Kieran Moore, Ontario's chief medical officer, saying very similar things. Dr. Eileen Davila, Toronto's chief medical officer, who's really presided over some of the most aggressive COVID rules we've had in this country, she said things very similar. So when you have people protesting, saying basically that they want rules similar to what the UK has, what the US has, and kind of consistent with what public health officials are saying, well, I, I think that should really open our eyes to what's going on. I mean, they're protesting Justin Trudeau, yes, but Justin Trudeau was stubbornly refusing to roll back the trucker vaccine mandate at a time when, well, why are you adding new rules and, and new layers when we're all talking about having fewer rules? So I think when you put it into that perspective, you realize well, what is the key message of, of what all these sort of different voices were saying on Parliament Hill, they were saying, we want fewer COVID rules. And yet public health officials saying, well, yeah, we probably should. And then of course, other countries very similar to ours, very close to us doing it just that way. I don't think that's an unreasonable request at all.